Hi, me Heat Nation. Hello, guys. My name is Trent, and over here, we are going to be covering the Miami Heat's offseason and heading into next year. So, guys, if you support the Miami Heat or your favorite team is the Miami Heat, make sure you drop that sub and turn on post notifications. Now, in today's video, we are going to be talking about day two of training camp and stuff that I noticed and all the interviews and what happened in practice and all that good stuff. So, we're going to start it off with good news. Obviously, yesterday I made a video that there was some injury reports on Gabe Vinson and Dwayne Dedman and Nicole Jovich, but today everyone practiced. So that's a good thing. I wasn't worried about Gabe Vinson's knee because it was swelling up, but they all participate. Also, too, Eric Sprocher wasn't there for the first day of training camp because he was having a kid. He has officially arrived, and that's a great sign. So that's the good news starting off. Now, I do want to say we're going to talk about Tyler Harrow and a lot of these guards that are fighting for the last two positions of the shooting guard in power four. So Tyler Harrow pretty much made it known that he wants to be an all-star that in last season that he felt he deserved to be an all-star if he was in the starting lineup. You guys let in the comment section how do you feel about that. Personally, in my opinion, I don't, but hey, believe he has all the confidence in the world and I like that. He also said with his recent playoff struggles, he said that he was having another kid on the way and it was just mentally destroying him. And also he was dealing with injuries and that's why he said he was playing bad. And also he did say he wants to be a starter. We already know that. I've been saying it for the last four years. Now heading on to Victor Oladipo. Victor Oladipo has been looking great in training camp so far. He made it known that he does want to start too. And he pretty much said that he has been a starter throughout his whole career. So now you have Victor Oladipo and Tyler Hero and Max Strews fighting for that position. Now, Eric Spoel already made it known that the Sparta spots are open for the two and four, but the competition is happy. It's not like not being negative or I'm not happy that I'm not starting this and that. Everybody wants to do, you know, what helps the team win, but also they do want to be in the starting lineup. So that's also something I do want to talk about. Also, Tyler Harrell made it known that he's weighed 198 pounds and He's at 4.5% body fat. I know people may be concerned because he is a little bit too slim, but hey, he wanted to let Jimmy Butler know that. He also said during the offseason, he has been working on his isolation game without a screen, so pretty much creating his own shot because he tend to struggle with that last year. And he also said he has heard the critics about all the stuff that they want him traded and this and that. His friends send him all that stuff and he's ready to have a huge year. Also, do want to say that Spo has talked about Kyle Lowry and his his reference about Lowry is that he's his Hall of Fame quarterback. He knows everything. As soon as I tell him stuff, he's doing it. So, and also he talked about his condition. He's happy happy with the condition of him so far. Now, also another thing that I do want to talk about is that they have been talking a lot about flexibility and being versatile. So. Spo is going to have several lineups of people playing big. So Bam and Yurt7 potentially may play the five. They also talked about that. They have been playing together in scrimmages. And we do have a preseason game coming up against the Minnesota Timberwolves, against Cat and Rudy Gobert. So that could potentially be a lineup out there. He also said we can go small, meaning Butler will probably play the four and Bam will play the five. And you probably have two shooters out there with Kyle Lowry. So the flexibility to Spo is very, very important in that he wants players to play other positions. So the Max Schroes already made it known that if he wants me to come in and play the four, I'm willing to do that. So those are the kind of the notes that I got at training camp of day two. And I'm super excited that the Heat are in Bahamas. They did it for, you know, they've been doing this a couple of times. But they get away, you know, they get to spend a lot of quality time together. They build that bond even more. The connection's even stronger. And honestly, I'm feeling really confident with, after these first two days of practice, everybody's feeling happy of what the roster is. Spoh's happy about the roster, doesn't really want to change it too, too much. So that's some good notes. Lastly, I do want to talk about Bam Adebayo. There was a stat that came out that when he takes about 18 shots, he averages about 28 points a game, 11 rebounds, about 4 assists, 1.8 steal, and 1.6 blocks while shooting 63% from the field and 33% from the three-point line. So that's incredible. I must make sure y'all subscribe to the channel to stay updated for day three and all this training camp. But just letting y'all know what's going on with the Miami Heat Nation. Love you guys so much once again, and I'm out of here. Peace.